Yo, what's up? It's Josh. Welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about my man, Wubs. This dude has come on the scene with some absolute bangers. That's one of his most recent songs, 19X, one of my personal favorites. I put together a little Wubs type vibe that I'm going to be using for today's tutorial, and here's what that sounds like. The first thing we're going to go over is the most important thing to making Wubs type music, and that is to record your vocals at a different pitch. So what you would do is have your instrumental, create a new audio track, go to resampling, hit record, and then you're going to record your instrumental onto another track. So once you have your instrumental, you would pitch it up, maybe three to five. I chose to do three on this particular one. And then you would solo it. Doesn't sound amazing, but it's definitely good enough to record the vocals too. So then you would go to your vocal right here. And as I did, I recorded the vocals at that key. And here's what that lead vocal sounded like. So I applied a little auto tune and I was at C major. I love and I hit you at the same time, at the same time, even though you ain't for the processing, have this little utility plugin, CLA 76, medium attack, fast release, CLA vocals, giving it that little spankity spank, little bit of DSing, a little bit of crush, which is just giving it some kind of distortion saturation type vibe. And then that fresh air, really boosting the highs, giving it that crispiness, little EQ, and then another DSer. So what you would do is record all your vocals, all your stacks, just like that. After you're done recording all the vocals, you wanna mute this and go back to your original instrumental. But now you wanna take all of your vocals and pitch them down three or however many semitones that you raise the instrumental. Now, when you do this, make sure to change your auto tune back to the original key. So if it was in C major, go down three, then it's an A major. If you want to hear all the layers on this, could have gone even a little bit crazier. We have our lead. And then just dubs left and right. And then I did a couple falsettos. At the same time, even though you ain't mine. Oh yeah, just beefed it up a little bit. After that, it brings me to the guitar. I usually try to play the guitar, but I was in a little bit of a rush. So what I did was just go and splice, find a little one shot, use this Snow Angel guitar one shot electric wet single note A. Dragged it into Ableton and then just programmed a little progression here. Went to guitar rig, used the Summer Rocks preset, little bit of EQ taking out the lows and highs. So we just keep the mids and here's what it sounds like. Then I bounced it to audio, and then I have more guitar stacks that are just doing some power type stuff. And that's just that same one shot up with a different guitar rig preset, which is Big Monster. Once again, EQ'd out this low below 100, a little bit of the highs, and then I just did a left and a right. So when I copied over the MIDI, I made sure to move it over just a little bit to give it more of a human feel. It also adds width to it. The next thing I want to talk about is the bass. For the 808, I use this Cody Triton 808. Here's what it sounds like without any of the processing. Now this is a really good 808, but for a lot of the Wub stuff, he adds a lot of high-end harmonic, almost noise type content. And so one of my favorite plugins to use for this is this Erosion plugin with wide noise. And here's what that does. Added a saturator, just beefing it up a little bit. And then I added a little bit more distortion with this temper plugin. If you don't already have this plugin, this plugin is sick. Settings, and here's what that sounds like. Next thing that brings us to is the drums. And here's what those sound like soloed. First thing we got that foot boy kick, and that's from that breakings pack over here. And then I just added it on top of it a little acoustic kind of kick, but I took out the lows. But it just gives it a little bit more of that like kind of roomy type vibe. Then we got two snares, we got an acoustic snare, almost like a retro type vibe, and then we got this stop snare, basic hi-hat, and then a couple impact sounds, just to really emphasize the one, and a little crash. And then we got these like little open hat type vibes. Here's what the original sample sounds like. 
I thought it was kind of just like robotic. What I did to change that is that RC20 distorted it all the way up, added a little bit of wobble. I like doing this on a lot of hi-hats because it kind of makes each note when it plays a little bit different. And I believe it was just a little bit more human. Tone up a little bit and then more reverb to kind of give it. And then for the last part, we have this little glitch sound right here. And so what I did for that was just take this crash right here, brought it over here, reversed it, shortened it a little bit, added a fade. And then once I did that, double clicked on the sound, changed the warp mode to beats, pitched it up eight. And then I went over here to this clip sample offset and then kind of just drew a crazy shape. It was really just random, but that's a plug if you want to get like these glitchy kind of weird sounds. And here's what it sounds like. So, you know, that's kind of basic, but here's what the processing. And all that is, is like 15 OTTs. Literally, I just stacked them on top of one another. It just makes it sound crazy. And in terms of the master, just got a little soft clipper with the glue compressor, just doing a couple dB. And then we got the Fab Filter Pro L2, doing like three dB of limiting. And then we got the Ozone, just doing a little basic EQ, kind of adding a little clarity to the mids, a little brightness to the top end. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you really want to get creative, one thing I would recommend doing is to bounce your entire mix to audio and then kind of chop it up or mess with it. And so you could do things like this. You can also make little moments like this. You could take the ending of a phrase or a bar, pitch it up 12, and then reverse it. Add a little bit of fade, and it just gives you a little moment. And that's when you can kind of drop the vocals in there and make that shit sound swaggy. That's it for today's tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it and learned something. Now, if there's anything that I missed or if you have an idea for a video that you want me to do, make sure to let me know in the comments. Also, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram. My DMs are always open. I'm here to help you guys. Regardless, y'all enjoy the rest of y'all's week. Keep vibing and making dope music and I'll see you next time. Love you.